Ohio Senator J.D. Vance is opening a line of attack into Minnesota Governor Tim Walz's military career as the two veterans now vie to be vice president. When Tim Waltz was asked by his country to go to Iraq, you know what he did? He dropped out of the Army and allowed his unit to go without him. Waltz served 24 years in the Army National Guard. He filed papers to run for Congress in February of 2005 and retired from his unit in May of that year, two months before deployment orders appeared. Service members often submit their papers months before their retirement date. It's unclear when Walls submitted his paperwork, but Vance is also accusing him of falsely claiming he served in a combat zone. What bothers me about Tim Waltz is the stolen valor garbage. Do not pretend to be something that you're not. He's pointing to this clip of Walls talking about gun control. And we can make sure that those weapons of war that I carried in war is the only place where those weapons are at. In a statement, the Harris campaign responded, saying, quote, in his 24 years of service, the governor carried, fired, and trained others to use weapons of war innumerable times. He went overseas and served where the army told him. And it wasn't in Afghanistan, it was, it was in Italy, but that's where his unit was. He was making a broader point, not about his military service, about how these weapons of war have no place in our schools killing our kids. As for Vance, he served four years in the Marines as an enlisted combat correspondent in public affairs and was deployed to Iraq for roughly six months. I never said that I saw a firefight myself. The attacks on Walls' military record come as both parties seek to define the governor, who is relatively unknown on the national stage. Reporting in Washington, I'm Julia Benbrook.